astronauts are training for a mission right here at the Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport. Members of the crew said what they're about to do has never been done before. There's no question. <laughs> <laughs> no question. There, there is no bad day when you're training to go for, for a space mission. Jared Isaacman and Scott Poteet are two astronauts training for a rocket launch. Their mission, called Polaris Dawn, is the first of three for a commercial space program called the Polaris Program. During the five-day orbit, the crew will be blazing a trail, testing new technologies, and... I'm practicing um, things that haven't been done in like close to 50 years. Uh, we'll be going farther uh, into space than the last time someone walked on the moon. It'll be the highest Earth orbit ever flown. Isaac Min and Poteet say the training that goes into the space mission can be extremely tedious. I would say that, um, you know, the uh, academic portion where you spend a lot of time in manuals and PowerPoint is, you know, uh, that, that, that comes with some challenges. But luckily, the crew is finally in their third phase of training, which is focused on teamwork. And that's why we're here at Bozeman, and that's to fly some fighter jets. Poteet says the fighter jet experience is a great way for the crew to work together and go through checklist procedures. It's an inherently risky um, operation to fly fighter jets, and, and this is a good analog for, for space travel. The rocket launch will take place in early 2023. Isaacman says the research they will do on their mission is kind of like the building blocks, leading up to getting humans back on the moon and eventually to Mars. Going high, um, you know, we're, we're thrilled to be able to undertake that, that effort, but it's about, you know, learning a lot for the spacecraft design. It's, it's human physiology, what, what that radiation does to, to the human body, because if we're going to get back to the moon and Mars, we're going to have to go through the Van Allen belt. The crew will be traveling in a brand new rocket called Starship that might make this possible someday. And when Starship is complete and we will have flown that, you've got a vehicle now that can bring 100 people up into space. And they're making like literally thousands. So you're talking about the 737 of spacecraft that so we can make amazing progress for tomorrow. Like, the exciting Star Wars world we want to live in someday. The, the entire experience is really incredible. In Bozeman, Jolie Salee, MTN News.